So let's look inside the uh, BD35 or 50 compressor and see what, uh, what happens inside. Uh, we can see straight away there's a, a spring type serpentine here. That's the discharge line from the compressor head and we don't want those uh, vibrations to be transmitted to the point where it leaves the compressor shell. Otherwise that could um, cause vibration cracks and uh, leaks inside. Uh, at this other end here, we can see those are the three wires that come in from the three pins, which are on the end here where the controller plugs in. And those three wires connect to the motor. You can see the motor. Here's the shaft in the middle. And you can see the uh, red, yellow, and green windings, the three windings of the, um, of the motor itself. On the top here, if I turn it, this is where the piston comes in and out. And in here are the reed valves where it gets compressed. The whole thing is sitting on springs inside. You can just take it apart here. And inside are just four springs where the compressor sits. Obviously, it's uh, full of oil and refrigerant when it's working normally. There's the bottom. There's the shaft here, which turns the motor. And by turning that, it turns the piston in and out. Very simple very few moving parts, and uh, that's the heart of the BD-35 BD system.